From our North Idaho newsroom now, after treating animals in and around Sam Point for more than two decades, the Bonner County Humane Society is being forced to close its doors. As KXY Forest Tony Dahl explains, the decision boiled down to dollars and cents. Let's go. Come on, Jack. For 10 years, Frank Cafferty has brought his pets to the Bonner County Humane Society. Today, his dog Jack and cat Sapphire are getting their annual checkups. Oh, yes, you're a good boy, aren't you? He's a regular because the price is right and the staff are always friendly. But this animal lover was shocked to hear the clinic was shutting down operations. I was real surprised. I, I didn't realize that they were in the um, condition they were in financially. The Humane Society is struggling to get by. A sluggish economy means less people are walking through its door. Unfortunately, at this point, I would say that uh, we've only been averaging about eight surgical or dental patients a day. Look at those pretty choppers you got. Donations are down, making it impossible to offer up low-cost vet care, like spay, neutering and vaccinations, or pay three salaried staff. Other money woes include a change in management and losing $55,000 after a mortgage company went bust. We uh, just have run out of money. Um, you can't have a low-cost operation without it being subsidized with donations, and the donations just have dried up. The Humane Society provides care to animals from Bonner and Boundary counties. Pet owners even come from as far away as Montana. You want to come on out, Miss Sapphire? With the clinic closing its doors at the end of the day, the Humane Society worries about a pet population boom or lack of medical care for those who can't afford expensive vet bills. The question now is, who will come to the rescue? If I had the money, if I had the resources, I would, I would gladly make the donation to keep them going. The Bonner County Humane Society says that it would need only ten to fifteen thousand dollars to stay afloat and about fifty thousand dollars per year to run the clinic. If you'd like to help visit us at KXLY.com and click on news links. Reporting from Sandpoint, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4 HD News.